to 16. Straight eye, lost the pass to the near end zone. Bear Morris Anderson caught it with one hand. Touchdown, Bears. A fast and furious fourth quarter comeback by the Bears falls two points short in Lubbock. All the highlights coming up next on the Dave Roberts Show. The Dave Roberts Show, brought to you by the Dr. Pepper Bottling Company of Texas and Dr. Pepper, the official soft drink of Baylor University. By Baylor Healthcare Systems and by Bell Insurance, serving Texas and the Southwest. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Dave Roberts Show, talking Baylor football. The Bears back from Lubbock and a 31-29 loss to the Texas Tech Red Raiders Saturday night. And uh, Dave, uh, another close game, second consecutive two-point game your team has played. We've had three games. Seven points makes the difference. Uh, nobody wants to go home. Uh, they won't go home early, but uh, I thought it was an incredible effort. Uh, I thought our kids playing three top 20 teams right in a row. Uh, they played very hard at times. We didn't play very well, but uh, I was very proud, uh, particularly of the comeback uh, when it looks like uh, with four or five minutes left to go, we're out of it and uh, we're right back in it and have a chance to tie it right at the end. Sort of interesting game, tale of two halves. First half very defensive uh, dominated. Second half, both teams' offenses got cranking. It was it was funny. I mean, we'll, when we show up with the total package one day, we'll be we'll be something. But defensively, they had. 120, 130 yards in the first half, and we couldn't, we couldn't do anything with it in the second half. Nobody could stop anybody. So it was, uh, it was an unusual game. Hadn't been in many like that. Goes down to, or comes down to a two-point conversion attempt with a minute to play. Uh, we'll see that from several angles later. But uh, your thoughts on that two-point conversion? Well, we had so many opportunities. Texas Tech was an excellent football team. Uh, they'll be a very good football team. They're very physical, and it showed uh, last night. We had opportunities earlier. Uh, couldn't take advantage of the opportunities, and normally, uh, when it comes down to that, that's uh, you hate to let a call determine the game. But that's uh, we had opportunities prior to that, and if we'd have taken care of the opportunities, uh, we wouldn't have been in that situation. You were looking for some uh, passing yards from a quarterback. Turned out to be Jermaine Alfred Saturday. Oh, Jermaine played very well. I mean, Morris and Darius both had seven catches apiece, and they're quality receivers, and it's f it's fun to get them the ball because they were. They were having a hard time. I mean, we, we weren't able to get them the ball like we wanted to. And, uh, Jermaine came in and sparked us and uh, uh, gave us an opportunity to uh, tie it at the end. All right, let's take a look at the highlights from Jones Stadium in Lubbock Saturday night. Second Big 12 conference game for both Baylor and Tech. Crowd of 38,801 to see the Bears and the Red Raiders. And uh, Tech won the toss, deferred to the second half, so you're going to get the ball first. And you've got Odell James starting at quarterback. We did not. He did a nice job right here, just a uh, little turn route, and that was the, the start of it. We again wanted to open it up a little bit early, and again, we still were uh, not able to run the ball with the efficiency we'd like to be able to run it, and uh, went to a four wide out set. And I think Kyle Atterbury had really, you know, for for uh, four games, he must be averaging 44, 45 yards of punts. Incredible. Here's Tech's first offensive series, and that's their Ricky Williams in stop for a loss. Chris Michel made a nice tackle right there. It was uh, defensively, uh, defensively was outstanding in the first half. It was uh, uh, James Calvin, who's really a good football player, really has worked extremely hard, uh, made a nice tackle. Had some more lost yardage plays. Tech's Ricky Williams leading the nation in rushing coming into this game. Gary Baxter. Chris Michel had a lot of white shirts, Justin Snow, a lot of white shirts around the, around the, uh, the pile. I thought uh, defensively in the first half looked like uh, the Baylor defense we've seen in the first three games. Billy Starnes, the newcomer, was in on that. Forces a field goal attempt. 49-yarder is uh, no good by Tech, so we're scoreless at this point. And this is uh, now Williams in the clock, 6.50 in the first quarter. Ricky Williams going to get the carry again here. And Gary Baxter. Gary Baxter played, uh, he's played for a sophomore extremely well for four games. Uh, very proud of Gary Baxter. Switch directions, new quarterback in for Tech. It's nice to see Rodney Smith. Rodney, second in our team in tackles last year, and is really right here a Waco native and really has, has played very, very well. And it, uh, he threw a little crossing route. Uh, 
got the ball down. Morris made a nice, nice catch and really a good run after the catch. I really appreciate the folks coming to, to love it. We had a great, great crowd. A swing pass to Overstreet, and uh, he is uh, well, else ruled a fumble there. The officials talk about it and end up giving Tech the ball. That was a close play. That was uh, defense came right back in and uh, played well. Jason Larry from Amarillo, right near Lubbock, uh, uh, made a nice play. Our defensive kids, we're, we, uh, we don't have quite the numbers we need yet, but gosh, they play hard and play exciting. And again, there's Dwight Johnson, another young man from Waco who's really uh, played great last week and really uh, has, has had an outstanding four games. I think that's your ninth well, here's the block punt. Isn't that incredible? Three games in a row. Three games in a row, and uh, the defense uh, and the punt, gosh, the, the punt block team, that's a... Uh, Incredible effort. Gives you good field position. Odell James still at quarterback. Hits Morris Anderson. Morris made it. Played very, very well. And right here, nice job. Uh, Matt did a great job of kicking the field goal, but we've had two opportunities inside the 20. Got one field goal, and, and that's, uh, that's where uh, we really need to improve. Tech comes back really their first big play of the uh, first half hit their tight end, Alleman, who uh, rumbles for 41 yards. They, uh, they ran that naked uh, bootleg three or four times with a great deal of success. Quarterback broke contain, uh, came right back with it, and the quarterback ran, and he had a lot of running yards. And a lot of it was on that one play, and uh, we've got to work hard to improve that. Tech moves it down, a 13-play drive, 80 yards. Quarterback Peters goes in for the touchdown. And it's 7-3 at this point. See the clock a minute 40 in the first half. Tech on top. Good hard hit and strip there, and Michaud comes up with the ball. I thought that was a great play by the defense, and, and you know, we, we've created some turnovers, and that's what we're trying to do. We're playing very, very hard, and sometimes not well, and sometimes very well. And we uh, had some defenses giving the offense some opportunities. And first half, we just have to take care of the opportunities. Uh, you don't have many of them, and when you have them, you've got to be able to do something with it, and uh, that's where we really need to improve. A couple of takeaways there in the first half. The, the oh. Ronnie Smith interception, and then uh, that fumble recovery right there. That's right, and the block fun. I mean, right. what happens is you have to be able to score points when you have those opportunities. and. Uh, that's what we've got to do to improve this week. You were not real pleased about your, your offense in the first half. Well, we had 75 yards, and, and I'm not used to, you know, it's, it's hard. Uh, we've been struggling and struggling and struggling, and we needed a spark, and uh, it's not one person. It's, it's a combination. Uh, we can't run the football like we'd like. You have 35 yards rushing in the first half. Uh, uh, Texas Tech's a very, very good football team, but we still, 35 yards rushing is not a lot of yards rushing, and so we, we, we've been struggling, and hopefully maybe the spark in the second half will help us get going for the rest of the year. All right, 7-3, Tech on top at halftime. Plenty of sparks and fireworks coming up in the second half, but when we return, our Where Are They Now segment presented by Vartek Telecom, offensively. Well, we thought our defense had played really well. We had opportunities to score and didn't take advantage of them. And so uh, we were, so we need a spark. And uh, gosh, if you like defense, you were there the first half. And you like offense, you were there the second half. So I think people got their money's worth. Goes down to the final minute yeah. also. Let's take a look at the highlights from the second half. Uh, Red Raiders come out and score first uh, and make it 10-3. The Golden Wave Band made the trip to Lubbock, which is uh, no small trip on buses all the way. Our band's incredible. I really appreciate them very much. This is a nice pass from Odell to, uh, to Darius. Uh, we tried to open it up a little bit in the second half. Uh, we we uh, threw a play action pass and came right back and tried to go to a uh, fade route in the end zone. Got an interference call. That was a nice that. throw. So on the penalty, you get the ball at the two yard line and knocking on the door to tie this game up. 
Roger Perkins has really made a nice run here. He's a good back and good effort to, to get in the end zone. Nice block by Darrell Bush, and I'm really happy for Elijah. Good blocking by Scott Childress and Andrew O'Brody. We've got uh, a, a nice surge there that was nice. Get us in the end zone. Ties the game at 10-10 at that point. First rushing touchdown uh, scored on Tech this year. Red Raiders come back quick. Great guy. Yeah, sure was. Great catch. They uh, they had some incredible weapons, and they're very athletic. And Texas Tech, uh, they got a good football team. Coach Dykes does, and he does a nice job. Came right back, and uh, Donnie Hart, uh, I think he's, a, he's an incredible player. Big-time players make big plays, and uh, he made a big play right there, and, and uh, that was a nice play by them. We were in good position. 38 yards, makes it 17-10, Tech. Came right back, uh, trying to go to four wides and, and move it around a little bit. And we weren't able to run the football, so we felt like at that point the best opportunity to give us a chance to win was to spark it and try to get, uh, try to move the sets around. Well, this is a great catch uh, uh, by Morris. I thought that was really well done. Nice throw. Just a, a bend route uh, to the outside. And again, when you kick field goals, uh, you, you fall apart somewhere, and that's what we've got to be able to improve on. We've got to be able to score when we have the opportunities, because that makes the difference. 17-13 the score now. Here's a good return for Tech. The scoring barrage begins. This is a, a two-play drive by the Red Raiders. They get one pass for 30 yards. Then. Ricky Williams takes it the rest of the way. I'll tell you, we had him bottled up in the first half. I think he had 80 or 90 yards, and all of a sudden he has 159 yards. He's an incredible player. Uh, their offensive line was huge, and I think wore on us in the second half. But Ricky Williams, uh, he gained a lot of yards in the second half. But he's a great player. Oh, is this a great throw and catch? Uh, Jermaine had a great throw, just put it perfect, and Morris was in great position and made a great catch, and uh, obviously I was very happy to see that. 41 yards on that one, gets you out from your own 10-yard line. And he broke down in protection here, and Jermaine really did a nice job of, uh, of coming out, uh, scrambling, and that was, that was just uh, incredible. But it stalls and you have to go for a field goal again. Matt Bryant did his part, hit uh, three of three field goals for Matt's uh, really done a nice job kicking the ball. And uh, the difference is uh, we've got to be able to score touchdowns at some point. But Matt has really done well. And then there goes Ricky again. He's on a roll. We, uh, we weren't able to, uh, to stop him in the second half. And they, they really uh, were able to get moving, running the football. And uh, they control the line of scrimmage. And as I said, uh, we're not, we're making progress, but uh, we're not quite there yet. So Red Raiders go up 31 to 16. You saw the time on the clock, and uh, then two nice drives back to back. That was a great catch, great throw. I mean, couldn't be any better. Arnold Simpkins made a great catch, and uh, it's good to have him back. You know, he missed first, played in the first game, but missed preseason with his hand, and uh, made a big time catch here. I got to go to Darius Thompson, who makes an equally great catch. Ran a corner route, and Darius went up. And, uh, wow, that's impressive. What a catch. I don't see many like that. This is a drive Jermaine was six for six passing on he this did, scoring drive. I guess uh, he did a great job. This is, again, a one-handed catch by Morris Anderson. And 4.47 to play now, and you got that score. This is a great grab all the way. I mean, uh, three great catches on this drive. I think uh, the receivers came out to the sidelines to just throw it to us. We'll catch it, and that's exactly what they did. All right, so now it's 31-23, less than five minutes to go. Momentum changes in the defense. There's some spark there. There's hope, and, and it's exciting. All of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, we come back and start playing again. And, and well, momentum's a funny word. Stop Ricky Williams, a couple of carries there. McKinley Bowie on the tackle. McKinley is a sophomore, has played very, very well. Now you get the ball back. Very good player. It's Darius Thompson again. 
Well, Darius came up big. He caught seven, seven uh, passes. Morris caught seven, and I guess that's probably career highs for both of them. I'm, uh, I'm delighted for them because they've worked so hard, particularly at blocking. And, uh, there's Morris on a crossing route. It's a tremendous effort. Jermaine, on these two drives, uh, one point connected on ten straight passes. I'll tell you, that's nice. We had uh, got our passing game going yesterday in the second half. That's a nice job. Dumped it to Anthony uh, Overstreet, and he uh, got it down to the three-yard line. That time's running short here. About two minutes to go. Okay, 114 to go at the three. Nice run by Darrell Bush. We uh, uh, thought we'd catch him blitzing on the outside and slip the draw underneath, and that was a uh, that was really he broke a tackle, broke another tackle. Really uh, outstanding play by by him. All right, here's the two point conversion attempt. It's 31-29 now. Pass from Jermaine. Nice play. To Darius Thompson, official signals really, it good in the end zone. Really a nice play. Uh, uh, we ran a little crossing route and hit. Uh, it was a nice throw, great throw by Jermaine. Really a great catch by Darius, keeping his feet in bounds, and, uh, and that's what we told our football team: let's get it down to the last four minutes and have a chance to win or tie it, and uh, that's a to win. But uh, that gave us an opportunity to tie. Back up field there, you saw the referee uh, wave it off. Their ruling, did you talk to them? No. Did you get an explanation after no. that? No. Okay, their ruling was Jermaine had stepped out of bounds mm -hmm. before he made the uh, completion to Darius. Well, you know, like I said, after the game, people asked me that. I said, we had opportunities prior to that. We kicked field goals and didn't score touchdowns. And then we didn't stop Ricky Williams and the quarterback in the second half. So. Uh, you hate it to come down, but uh, Texas Tech was an excellent football team. We've had three top 20 teams back to back, and uh, uh, they're, they're rather talented. And, and we, uh, they were very physical, and we had an opportunity to tie it in the end and just didn't do it. So we're, we're not there yet, but we're, we're playing hard. And people, uh, uh, I'm, I'm very proud of our football team. Came down to that. Looked like it was good on the two-point conversion. Uh, waved off by the officials. So 31-29. Kansas in Waco, first of two straight home games for the Bears. We'll look ahead when we come back. It's hard. To, uh, it's good to have a home game. Three tight, three games on the road. I'm glad to be back in Waco. Uh, that'll be nice. But uh, we've got to play well. Our, our players are playing very hard. So uh, we come back, have a great week of practice, and get prepared. All right, Kansas Jayhawks coming to Waco this Saturday, 6 p.m. kickoff time. We invite you to come. Come early, Parents Weekend, and uh, visit Snickers Touchdown Alley prior to the game. Baylor, Kansas, this Saturday. All the highlights next week on our next Dave Roberts Show. Promotional consideration provided by Cooper and Horn Builders and by George's Restaurant and Catering. The Dave Roberts Show has been brought to you by Bell Insurance, serving Texas and the... A great example of what sure exhausted is. Tars Rucker has played so long and so hard, and he's just, he always close. And uh, what a great play, what a great play he did for the, the quarterback out of bounds. I think Jermaine Alford really played well for them. He's a good quarterback, and uh, that was a big-time football play right there. All right, the Red Raiders beat the Baylor Bears 31-29, get to 5-0 on the season with that Big 12 victory.